Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error that is fail to sign using gaming runtime services when Elite S2 controller is connected to your computer. Now, the first step is to update Xbox Accessories app. Now, you can go to Microsoft Store and then on the bottom left here, you can see library. Go to library and then find Xbox Accessories app in the list. So, you can scroll down. and find xbox accessories now if you see update option over here click on update or once the update is complete you can check or you can click on get updates over here and once all the updates are installed then restart your computer and then check now still you are receiving the error in that case start xbox services in that case type in services in windows search box and then click on services now at the end, you will see all the Xbox services. Here you can see Xbox Accessories Management Service. Make a double click. Set it to automatic. If this is set to manual or if this is disabled, set it to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Now again, make a double click and then set it to automatic and then hit apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Again, make a double click, then set it to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. And then run this Xbox services. Make a double click, set it to automatic, apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. And then you can check. Still you are receiving the error. In that case, stop and start Xbox accessories management service. Now over here, you can see Xbox access accessory management service. Make a double click and then set it to auto automatic. Click on apply. And then click on stop or you can simply make a right click on this Xbox accessory management service and then click on stop and then restart the service make a right click once again and then then click on start and once this is done you can check now the next step is to run gaming services repair tool now for this you can open any browser in the browser in Google you can type in gaming service repair tool and click on gaming services repair tool for PC now it will take you to Microsoft website and then scroll down here you can see downloadable version click on it and then scroll down here you can see download the gaming services repair tool for PC click on it this will download an exe file run this exe file now if you see the repair option now click on yes to allow and let the repair complete this process may take a couple of seconds or maybe few minutes and once this is complete it will show you done like completed successfully now once you see this now you can check still you are receiving the error message in that case log into xbox app and use xbox accessories app so you can go to xbox app and then on the top left here you can see your profile icon click on it and then if this is like you if you're not logged in you can log in and make sure that you log in with same account on microsoft store and with same account on xbox app so whichever account you're using over here use the same account to log in on microsoft store and then check next step is to install xbox identity provider so copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you will see xbox identity provider now you have to click on install option or download option click on it and it will prompt you to open Microsoft Store. So click on open Microsoft Store. And if Xbox identity provider is not installed, you will see install button or get button. If you don't see any button, that means it is already installed. So once installed, you can check. Also uninstall and reinstall gaming services. So copy the first command. This command is provided in the video description. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on run as administrator make sure that you are opening windows powershell as an administrator click on yes to allow and then paste the command over here and then hit the enter key this will uninstall gaming services from your computer once done now run this command this command is also provided in the video description and then paste the command over here on the same window hit the enter key this will open Microsoft Store and then you will see install button to install gaming services click on install click on yes to allow and let the install complete 
now once the download is complete once this is successfully installed now you can check still you are receiving the error in that case you can run this command this command is provided in the video description so copy this command and then type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator always open powershell as an administrator click on yes to allow paste the command over here hit the enter key now this process will take some time and during this process you will see some errors in red color so if you see any error in red color just ignore it and let the process complete so you will see errors like this in red color just ignore it once this is complete you will see all red now you can restart your computer and then check now if nothing is working the last step is to update your windows using media creation tool if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link windows 10 users go to this website here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take some time now once the download is complete before the installation you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install and once the installation is complete log into your computer now for windows 11 users go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation log into your computer so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel